So Lindsay came to Belize 2019 and we were working together. And Lindsay went back to the United States knowing that what she did or what she started here in Belize was definitely not the end. She called me, she said, Derek, how can I help? What can I do? And immediately, I said, in education. In every community that we work, we find this being recurring, that we have kids with dreams, but no resources. Are you a, a teacher? Nice. What about you? A doctor. Wow. A lot of the kids that you are given scholarship for are single parents. Yeah, so they don't have any father and, you know, it's just me. So, um, you know, I try my best for them. It, it was very difficult, the, the pay that I get. Sure. You have to stretch it in. A lot of these children would not be able to buy their uniforms. Their parents would not be able to get a backpack. And I know a lot of the adults could attest to this, that you have dreams but do not have the resources. What, what was your dream when you were growing up? I don't have no dream. I did not finish my school. I could have to stop school to help and provide for my sister, for my mother, who was just 13 years. So this is like, all right, let me, let me get my mind wrapped around this. And before you know it, she started in a non-profit called Over of Righteousness and begin to raise all the funds. Or without this help, many of them would not even complete a primary school education. I believe that sponsoring a child, it's investing in that child's future and looking to the future is actually the future of our nation. Because somebody comes alongside them and sponsors them, they're getting their tuition, they're getting their uniforms, they're even helped with food. I know we have close to 180 kids starting from kindergarten all the way up to tertiary level education receiving this scholarship. Come on, somebody. All we gotta do is say yes to God and He will provide the resources. This is where it all started, and God has just thrown it in ways that we never could have imagined. All of the phenomenal pastors that we get to work alongside, we really get to be in the hands of each other. Oh, the days of your life. Father God, knowing that you are the odds that have to finish your life in the darkness, Lord God. There was being true to us. Each and every one of you in this room is special and chosen, and God has a plan and purpose for you. And in Jesus' name, I let everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.